Yeah, Parallel is a story about uh, the ancient land. The anci what is happening in ancient land? You know, um, the urbanization is happening and as well as the rural existence is there. So, so there is a conflict, there is a major conflict because uh, farmers and the landowners, they are selling their lands in huge profits. Um, so, the com suddenly uh, the Nuvorish community is coming up, and, you know, and but uh, same same sort of ancient with, with ancient social values, you know. So, in, in a proverb in in Hindi we have a proverb called na ghar ka na ghat ka, you know. It's like so so it, the story is about that conflict, you know, okay, what is happening actually in 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 real life, and there the story of a watchman comes. You know how. Now Siddharth is relating the whole story, the whole milieu, the whole social conflict the of contemporary India with the watchman's perspective which is like, which is so negligible. As, as an actor also, when I always approach a character, it is like you know, the character is much bigger than me, you know, and uh, I believe in an acting of invisible invisibilism, so when the actor is invisible then the character comes out. So, you know, people people really don't recognize me after my film, and that is thing. I I I think that is my gain. But when you're doing an independent film, uh, then the budget is tight, and it is more of creative venture, more of urgency. People are not looking for uh, actually market like you know the uh, NCR or for these kind of people. You know the film allows you to confront this reality you know which you actually don't know you always neglect you know because it is not there in your everyday life principal films because it is a huge film industry and people should know different kind of filmmaking different kind of subjects different kind of reality you know somebody has to come up with some kind of new wave some kind of new genre some kind of New language altogether. You know? uh, I'm going to do a film uh, called Mastan, uh, also directed by Rocky Khanna. And uh, there is another film uh, called Shankar Shambhu, I'm going to do, and uh, the director is Akshat Kapil. And um, and there are there are films like you know, there are films. B A Pass is going to come. B A Pass I've shot one film and which got uh, an award. Uh, in the Ocean Cinefan this year, uh, the best feature film. So that is also a beautiful film. So we are we are also really it's traveling the world right now. Uh, we are really looking forward for an in Indian release also. Chittagong Chittagong is going to come. That is also like you know it was a huge struggle. Uh, like you know after a huge struggle, the film is actually releasing in India. It's also a beautiful film. Uh, so that's first feature film was Divya Drishti. I was behind that film also. And uh, after that, uh, like when I, I was doing DFD, I was in town, I was in Delhi, so I just called up and uh, he came and narrated me the story and I immediately loved the character and loved the story. And I, and I loved that belief you know, uh, in me, you know, I, and as an actor it gives you a lot of, lot of courage that your director believes in me and he is offering you another main lead, you know, so it's, it's beautiful. That when Siddharth has narrated me the story, what actually excited me in the film is the character of Bhanu, you know, and the story sets in a NCR space uh, the, where where the urbanization and the rural existence both are happening, and and he is a guy, he is a daydreamer uh, and the uh, representative of that serfdom. And he is just—he is a creature of habit. He just—he just believes in one thing that one day everything will be sorted out and the silica mine is will be again functioning and I'll be the watchman again and everybody will come and see. Actually, in reality, that doesn't happen. They actually live under the fringes of the society. So, 
they're negligible actually. You know, you see them every day. They are there, but they are so invisible that you just look through them. But they exist. They are the the largest population of India actually. He's trapped. He's trapped between this urbanization, modernity, and you know, rural existence. He's in a war zone. He, but he's still leading his own life. He's also a hero. He has his own idealism. You may like like his story because it's also real. It's, um, so, so I think you should give Bhanu a chance actually. <laughs> you know, you know.